G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die and welcome back to our volcano base where I am back to take on a rather lofty goal. I'm setting my hopes and dreams sky bloody high with the expectation that as always I will disappoint myself and hopefully end up somewhere around here I hope. But I am back because I want to build a gyrocopter entryway. I have this base set out, I've got the secret entrance all the way down on the ground level but i want to have like some cool like cliffside gyrocopter landing pad to cruise in on your super villain helicopter without anybody noticing that is what i want to build today but there is a lot that goes into that so i'm starting off relatively early and i also need to go down back to my old base all the way down there the sun hasn't even risen yet you can barely even see the glow on the clouds on the horizon but i need to go back to my old base grab some more of my old stuff and bring it back up here there's lots to be done so no dilly dallying for me this time no time for coffees this morning we're up and we're about i still really like this little cave entrance thing over here everything should be working yes it is straight out the door and and off we go. I really like it. I remember back, like, I think the the power doors and stuff were an Alpha 19 edition. And it doesn't feel like that long ago that we didn't have the automation stuff. It was really bloody annoying having to get off your bike to open doors and whatnot. But fortunately, the fun pimps listened to us and brought us the things that we needed. And now we can have motion sensors and things, which is absolutely bloody spiffing. But through I go, all the way over here, over to my old house, which will still be wired up and still working, I bloody hope. Oh, there's a couple of clouds around as well. The frame rate's taken a bit of a dump, but we'll manage. There's just a lot happening. There's a lot happening. They knew I lived here. They've come to find me. So first thing is first, most of this base has been ransacked of all of its crafting stations, but you... You were making me, if you could load up, there you go. You were making me my elevator stuff. So I'll take both of you. I'll also take uh, the whole bench itself and take that up with me. My uh, my little like basement area on my volcano base is looking a little scant. So having some extra crafting stations to fill up the void, both in my base and in my soul as well, will make me feel a whole lot better. But I'll grab that one. There we go. I don't really think I need the rest of this stuff. I have a spare lathe up there. I might take you with me, actually. The uh, chemistry station should come in handy uh, before too long. So I'll take that as well. But I also need to grab some of the sneaky deaky stuff I have in the boxes, stuff that in my pockets, and take off back up the hill as well. Some of this stuff can stay back down here. I mean... If I need to get just like some parts, whatever, this base will always be here. I can come grab some more if I need to, but I doubt that's going to be the case. I'll grab you guys as well. I'll also bring Babel Bat with me because you can't just go around forgetting your history. Me and Babel Bat have the history, so it's coming with me. But I'm also going to grab all of my dollary dudes because I have put in a... Sp oh, it's purple dye as well. In fact, Babel Bat needs to be purple. Uh, I feel like that needs to be a thing. There you go. There you go. Back to your rightful state. But uh, I need to grab all that money because I've put in a special order with Trady Potato to get myself into the air. I've put in an order to get myself a gyrocopter and hopefully he's come through with it. I'll grab you guys as well. It's just some extra like, you know, um, health stuff to try and keep myself alive back up on top of the hill. That'll do nicely. Take the rest of that. I think for the most part, that's all that I need. Got a spare motorcycle. I don't want to take everything with me. Just the stuff that's actually useful. Like batteries, for example. Going to grab the oven as well. Because I am missing that back up the top. Oh, and my uh, my mess uh, my messer and portal. That's not even close to the words I wanted to say. But okay, brain. Don't know how you got that mixed up. But sure, you do you. Turns out when you soak spaghetti for too long, you end up with some pretty useless noodles. Uh, I've got my oven. I'm stacked full of everything else. I might even just leave, like, some water behind. I can always make more water later. Plus, come back for my fridge and grab what I need to anyway. You've got one corn, and you can just throw that away and be heckin' bloody wasteful. But I think with that, I think I've got most of everything. I can move everything back upstairs, have a working kitchen, a working basement as well, and just live that high life. Last couple of seconds on you, and then we're good to go. I think we're done. Working granite sink. I've got one upstairs already. I've also got some fossils up there waiting as well. I think for the most part, I'm good to go. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. Well, this might be the last time I come down to this base for a heckin' long while. So, nah, I can't say goodbyes. I can't, I can't do goodbyes. I'm not emotionally equipped to say goodbye to things that I really get attached to, like an inanimate base object. But anyway, 
Speaking of things I'm not attached to, Trader Wrecked, how you bloody doing, Sunny Jim? Did you fulfill the one thing I asked of you? Did you follow through with my special order? Gyrocopter, there it is by you. Thank you very much. Still got like thousands of dollars left over as well, which is pretty bloody lovely. Might see if I can buy some extra stuff off you as well, like some ammo, some gunpowder, and anything else I might need. Once I'm, I'm on top of that mountain, I'm not really planning on coming down for a long time. Definitely got to be excited about the gyrocopter. Just forgot how to speak for a second there, but hey. It's fine. Wouldn't be me if I wasn't tripping over my own tongue. Since when do I pronounce words correctly? I've bought most of the useful things, so Don't I think we're good to go. You on your way out. I will not. In fact, I'm going to close the doors. You and all your guards have been munched on by several zombies over the journey, and I'm not really in the mood to stop them. You know, who am I to deny a ravenous horde of undead freaks the snacks that they desire? For the first time in life, Trader Rex, you are a snack. Just not for me. It still looks really... Like, vacuous and empty down here. It's definitely a bigger room than what I had back at the old house. Because even having all my new stations in, it still feels real, real spacious. There's a lot of room down here. I'm used to being a little bit more, like, hunkered in and tucked up and, like, strapped off to the left with some duct tape. But this is, um... This has got space all over the place. I think that's all my crafting stations down, though. Got a cheeky radio for some tunes while we're... Listening to who knows what, you're going to sit up there. You're going to sit up there because you don't actually do much forming anyway, but you can just get up and out of the way. And then I think we're good. I can put the rest of this stuff away. I've got some boxes upstairs, actually. And then, once that's all done and spoken for, I can then start moving on with uh, making myself the secret gyrocopter entry. What the hell did I do with those boxes, though? I had them somewhere. They were in the workbench, but now what have I done with them? There they are. They were hiding out of my fridge for some bloody reason. I'll store all of that that I can. You guys and you guys as well, please. Uh, hunting two. Yep, sure. I'm just going to put some boxes down so that I have storage space for other things. So like there. And I'll take you and actually get rid of that box. It's kind of ugly and in the way. Like that one. Yeah, good. I mean, there's not really a whole lot left for me to do in this space, but little things that are left are reasonably important. What do I have with this junk in? Oh, it's from Horde Loot. Okay, that's fine. So I think the best way to have an approach for this gyrocopter landing pad is going to be from the east. It's like a nice, clear flight corridor. Like, I mean, I suppose I could do it really anywhere. The north would work too, but I kind of like the idea of flying in over the town. Kind of like that, or like overlooking, overarching kind of feel to it. So that's the way I kind of want to go. And I just want to find a nice sheer bit of rock face. Uh, somewhere down here. It's getting a little bit sheerer. Um, and it's going to kind of flooding out again. How's this actually? That's reasonably big enough. I think this might actually work for me. Because what I want to do is have like that platform jutting out to make landings a little bit easier. Given I'm a shithouse pilot. But I want to have like a garage door. And I've actually got one crafted uh, in the workbenches upstairs. Along with some lights and things. So I want to have like a garage door that will see me coming. Open up and let me fly straight into it. I hope it's going to work out that way. I don't know if it's going to work out that way. But I'm going to try my best to get it to happen for me. I think this spot here... I mean, it's already kind of almost a rectangle as well. That actually kind of works out really well. This might be the spot. This might be the bloody spot. Happy with this. It's kind of hard to see at the moment because I'm like right up against and smearing my nose against the wall. But I've kind of marked out where I think the middle is. There's these two blocks here kind of like jutting up. So one, two, three, four, five. Those garage doors are five blocks wide. I did kind of think that potentially have like a, a drawbridge. So like have the garage door like this and the drawbridge like that. So it'll kind of work like this way. Making hand movements and do all this kind of stuff. But you kind of know what I mean, right? Like you got the garage door that opens, but the drawbridge that falls down as that landing platform. But the drawbridge has those railings on the side of it now. So I don't think that's going to help me being the Muppet that I am actually land on the thing. So instead, I think just a concrete platform garage door should be enough. So I think if that's the center there, and I start out from this side and start digging a bit of a hole. Oh, never mind. It's all, it's all stone. We should be able to see a little better of what we're dealing with. I really just want to see how this is actually going to look. So I'm building myself a little um, plank of death out this way. Like I've gone back to the pirate ships are old. And I'm about to get abandoned on an island somewhere. So that, you can see, I mean, it's a really good spot actually. Because it's got a nice like kind of frame around it. It's not jutting out of the cliff face at all. So that actually works really well. That's how big the garage door is. So that works fine like that too. 
Nice. Okay, it's almost like actually smack dab in the middle of my base as well. That's accidentally... No, that's completely deliberately. I played this out ahead of time. This is exactly what I meant to happen. This is perfectly aligned with how the base is upstairs. That's absolutely not a happy accident at all. All right, well, that works wonderfully. I don't know how far back I need to dig, though. Maybe I should go from the base and dig down to this level because... Turns out, I didn't know this until someone pointed out in the comments the other day. It does tell you your elevation on your map. I've never seen, I've never noticed that before. Never ever have I noticed it actually tells you the block height that you are. So, then we'll look at my little base outline as well. It looks pretty spiffing. So, if I dig down from the base to 229, then I know I'm at, what level, um, at the right level. I can start kind of planning out the rest of the, the, the way. But for the moment... I just think having a tunnel through here is going to be bonza. So let's grab my auger and start tunneling away. I'm I don't think I'll dig park past my base. It's been pretty safe on that front, but we'll just get this going. So it's something to work with. It's taken a bit of work, but we've got it done. I've got a fair bit of a chasm going in here now. It's all about the right kind of levels too. So now I just need to make like the mountain god I always wish I was and oh shit and uh, get myself back up the mountain, back up to my base again. And figure out where, actually before I do, where I need to come down from. What was like plus 229, I think it was, wasn't it? Is the level I'm going for. You, plus 229. Okay, comments, don't let me forget. Plus 229, I'm relying on you guys to stop me being a clown and forgetting the one number that I'm supposed to. Plus 229. So we'll get up, we'll find out where we want our passage down to be. Start carving that out and hopefully end up in the right spot. Turns out building that wooden schlong at the end of my hole down there, which now that I say out loud, there's a whole lot of innuendos waiting to happen. But building that thing out there gives me a good guidance of where the center of my passage is. And it's kind of about here, I think. I'm kind of in love with it. So it's about, okay, on that door there. So that's where the... Okay, so that's where the tunnel's going. If I... Oh, actually... Could I build it out to the left a bit so it comes down next to the passage? Let's see. This is the middle. One, two. That's going to be the outer wall here. And then three. Oh, that's going to work out really well, actually. In fact, you... Come with me. Get out of the way, please. I have bigger and better plans for this area. I'll take you. I'll move the workbench as well. Because I have that elevator, which is three by three. And that's going to be able to go vertically, as elevators do, between the two levels. This one, I'm going to use that. Chuck it in the corner here so it goes down to the gyrocopter tube. Ooh, this could work out really well. There is a lot of, like, half ass decisions that I've made along the trip here that are working out really well for me. This might be okay, you know. I've grabbed all of my cement out of my mixes and things that I'm making because I have a billion stone now from tunneling out half a ma uh, mountain. I've got more cement on the craft. It's not going to get done in time, but that's right. Just keeping that production chain going. Because I'm going to have to dig down. If it's a 3x3 elevator, I assume I need a 3x3 column of air going down to the bottom. It's like, the, like an anti-column. I need, a, I need a tunnel, three by three down. Don't know what words I'm coming up with today, but apparently here we are. But in the meantime, uh, I'm going to quickly go and just extend you down just that one block so you kind of still make sense for everything happening above you. Go like that and upgrade all of you. Nice. Okay. And then I suppose we just get digging. So where are we now? We're at 244. So I need to go 15 blocks down. That seems doable. The only issue is I have to do it in the whole big chunk, but that's all right. Let's get cracking. I got a little dizzy, but essentially spinning around in circles, holding down the auger has got me most of the way that I need to go. I'm 231, so all I need to do now is just go two blocks down. So about them, 229. That was the right number, wasn't it? God, I hope it was. Or else I'm going to look mighty sheepish on the internet forever. But, let's use the pickaxe, level out the rest of this, and then I'll cut down this big column in the middle with one fell swoop. Hmm, is there anything I'm missing here? I mean, I probably should have... I assume the elevator actually is going to need power. I probably should have brought the means to wire that up while I'm down in the hole. I might have to go around the whole uh, like mountain goat track again, back up to the top to get what I need, but we can manage that. It's not too much to ask of me. I don't think I'm missing anything. I think this is fine. I'm at the right level and I'm facing east. So that's the way, that's the way the tunnel goes. So somewhere over there should be what I'm looking for, but I'm just going to carve out a hole here and because... <laughs> what? No way! 
way! There is no way! I can't believe that! I was gonna say, because this is set in Darkness Falls, it's still the Anywhere Anytime world, I can just like punch a hole in just one block and stick my face through the wall and see where the tunnel ends up, but I have accidentally dug that the perfect amount. No. That's, that's too many happy coincidences in one day. Seven days doesn't do that for me. Seven days doesn't give you shit without you paying all of your blood and most of your limbs to get it. I'm all about it. Let's go just break you and bring down that column. I can't believe that's come out so bloody perfectly. I'm stoked with that. All right, well, nice. Now all I need to do then is just uh, well, open up the rest of this. Oh, it's so good. Look at that. It like... My guesstimation up the top worked out well too. So if this is all like the tunnel, this is where you park the gyro, then the elevator to take you back up to the base. Oh, me giblets are tingling. That's fucking perfect. Just get rid of these last couple of blocks and that one there. And then we're good. That's all she needs to write about that one. We are good to go. Now... I, I don't even have the elevator stuff on which is super bloody silly, nor do I have very many rebar frames, so... Okay, I do have... I do have the door on me, but I can't put that down, because without the power, I have nowhere to open it again, so I'll try and resist that urge for the moment. Got some lights as well. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go the goat track, back up to the top, get some more rebar frames on the craft and try and get the other things that I might need, plus the stuff to wire up both the elevator, the lights I want down in that hole as well, and the door, get it all going for me too. And I should have some motion sensors around somewhere as well for me to use, so I should have everything I need, I just need to have it on me when I need it. And at the moment, all I'm doing is carrying around an arseload of stone. I'm going to change over the wiring uh, for my power as well. I've got some relay, not relay, some uh, it's like timer relays in here that I can probably use. Uh, I might take you as well, save me a trip later on. Grab that one. Spotlights, yeah, maybe. We'll see if we can find a use for those as well. Most of this other stuff is all good to go. Nice, because I do want to quickly drop down here, get you out of the way, and chuck you on instead. Been burning dinosaurs for fuel, uh, for power for a little while, which I feel bad about, so why that one to that one, and then, wait, hang on, uh, where'd you go? That one there, just like, I don't know, on the wall above it, yep, sure, that'll do, there to there, and then you to that one, and that, I'm pretty sure, runs all of my stuff. Doesn't it? I think. Do you still work? You don't work anymore. Uh oh. Uh oh. I broke some things. I thought that was it. I thought it was just that one went to everything. Ah, oh, I've broken my wiring. That's right. I only broke it a little bit because I <laughs> put it onto a timer relay and didn't have it set up. And I put an extra box in just up there to run all the stuff I want constantly on so the, the timer just runs all my lights and things. Uh, I want you to start. At like nine o'clock, oh Jesus, get late in the day and end at like six, that'll be fine. Okay, so let's figure out this stuff then. Let's figure out how this is gonna work. Which one are you? You are the floor and you're the ground. So you just like sit in like that? Is that right? That seems to be right. Uh this might hurt a little bit to do, but we'll see how we go. You you do need power. Lovely. That was a good assumption by me. I need to go all the way down to the bottom. Oh, this is going to suck. Oh, hurt. Pleasant die. Ow! It hurt a lot, but it was worth it for the... I risked it for the biscuit. Damn it, I need to put you one further block down as well. Do I have an ore grommy? I should do. There you are. Damn it. I thought that was going to go a whole lot better for me. That might have been an itty bit a bit silly. So put the floor in like that. Call elevator, select floor, but you're going to need power as well, won't you? And I can't, I can't run power up because I can't get back up to the top to run it. Um, okay, do I have any wood on me? I've got a little bit. How many ladders can I make? I can't do much with my broken bloody leg. Six ladders. We'll see how high we can get with it just to get up to the top and hopefully run the power. This might have been a slight oversight. Here's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to put in a junction box just there. So if I can use this ladder, I now have three hours worth of broken leg. That's rather unfortunate. You to that one. There we go. You now have power. And then you to that one. 
That seemed to have worked. Okay, let's get these ladders out of the way. Like that. I'm a little bit fucked up, but we're all right. I think I have like... I think all my splints and my, uh, whatchamacallit's all down at the other house, but out will uh, figure it out. Go here and go there. So you're now powered, yeah? You're now good? Yes, you are. I didn't allocate floors. Can I just go like... Hang on, wait. Wait, hang on. If I go elevator, do you tell me how to use you? Elevator floor. Uh, you can total nine floors to one block high, directly above the base. No, this one then. Use the number to select a floor while standing on the platform. Okay. But is this like the American version or the English version of saying which floor it is? Like, is this the ground floor or the first floor? Actually, it says one. Okay, so I assume that's two above me. Use a numpad. Two. How do I go? How do I... Oh, I press E. Ow, it works! It works! We have an ele- Oh, God. We have an elevator. It's a little bit glitchy, a little bit- Hey, you going? But it's there! It totally worked! Oh, fuck yes! As I worried, I didn't actually bring any plaster cast or anything with me, but I can make myself a splint, and it's better than nothing now. I'm at five hours of broken legness. It's ruthless. Like, even just, like, touching the shift key adds hours onto your broken leg, which is no good. That didn't even work? A castle speed up, broken leg. Um, I thought I could do that with a splint. No? Did you just decide not to work for me? Uh-oh. I might have to... I might have to figure out how to make myself a cast real quick. I'm kind of broken at the moment. Casts. What do I need? Cloth fragment, cornmeal. I have most of this stuff. Oh, damn it. Did I bring the cornmeal up here with me? I hope I did. Oh, I did too. Thank God. Thank you, gorgeous. Give me that one. Fix my leg. There we go. Now I've got 20 minutes so I can move around again. Thank God for that. All right, nice. That's a little bit scary to walk on to. Ow! Ow! Okay, if you have like epilepsy stuff, please look away for a second while I figure out how the dick to do this. Okay, well, that's, it's fine now. You're all safe. It's all good. Don't know why it like blinks in and out of existence at that other level, but we're okay now. Nice. Okay, it's getting late in the day and there's more stuff that I want to be doing. Give me that one back. In fact, can I just go... Oh, I kind of, oh actually, I kind of want to have this seated inside the cliff face though. So I'll get rid of you guys so it's all nice and smooth out here. And then I'll get you and I'll just go like this. But I want the doors to be like on this level in here. So like another kind of block further back. So I'll go through and use the organ. Just quickly get rid of all this stuff as well. I think it's going to work. It should work. I hope it works. I don't even know if the bloody gyro is going to fit in here or not. I'm working on a lot of assumptions. So let me double check this. You do fit in there nicely. Alrighty then. Don't want to place it yet though because I will get locked out. Uh, you can go away and give me that one instead. Let's just get all you guys nice and upgraded. But all the concrete in the world, anything I'm missing now is a bit of time. We'll have to work through the night to get this done. I refuse to let this episode end before we have our gyrocopter landing pad. Nice. That goes like that. And in fact, ooh, I'm going to need, hang on, I need my bloody, you go out of the way, please. I need my pickaxe back because I'm going to need to put in my motion sensors, right? That's actually dirt, weirdly. Wasn't expecting that, so I'll get rid of you. But just like with the, um, just like with the secret entrance for the motorbike, I'm going to do the same kind of thing, the double motion sensor door kind of thing. That should work out fine. Yes, this is all coming up well. So here's what I was thinking, right? So how far away am I from the edge? I'm five blocks along. So four, five. One, two, three, four, five there. One, two, three, four, five there. One, two, three, four, five. That is perfect. So I can go like that and I can put in these lights along the side like that. I was going to go down the guts of it, but now that I'm here, I think along the edge it looks much, much better. Go there. Mind the right spot, please. Nope, idiot. Give me that one back. Got a little bit too happy on the right click there. Ten more minutes before sundown as well. If I take my first flight in the morning, that's that's still fine with me. I still feel like that's a win for everything I'm trying to do here. And the last one can go along to them. There we go. Because the added bonus of that is I can run power from this to you. 
I won't though because I hate that ugly bloody wire kicking across. Instead, let's chuck another another one of those lovely, lovely little hidden wiring junction boxes. In you go to there, please. Give me that one. Because yeah, then I can hide all the wiring out to the front door and still have this whole area lit up. It's gonna be great. So I've got all the lights working. It's nice and bright in here. I've got the motion sensors working, which means I'm now able to... Yeah, so the doors go up and away from me, don't they? So if I go out here, spin around and chuck you in there, that'll be good. I need my wiring tool, which is already there, and go from you to that one. That opens up perfectly. Ah! Excuse me. Excuse me. I was singing your praises. You can't just, like, close the door in my face like I'm freaking Maxwell Smarts. All right, you. Oh, that's funny. It's like a self-closing box. I need you to stay on for, like... Well, this is coming out, actually. So you can stay on for 10 seconds. See me there. And then you can stay on for... This is seeing me coming in. That's a lot of bloody noise. Let's go, like, 30 seconds on you, then. That should be fine. I can get you to look down like that. And we'll do the other side. If I could bloody see it, please. Can you get out of the way, please, door? I need to tinker with the tonker and... I don't know. But either way... That's so good. That's so good. I've started expanding out <laughs> the um the landing pad. But how far can I realistically go with this? And more importantly, how far do I want to go with this? Like, I could extend it to the the absolute end of rebar frames supportiveness, but then I suppose if I land on it, it might overwhelm the physics and it might collapse. Or like, what's the shortest allowable distance for me to land on it? It has to be secret and, like, stealthy and stuff. Can't have some massive concrete schlong sticking out of the side of the mountainside. So, your mass is 10, so I can go 12 blocks along before it's going to collapse. And that's from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I could probably go out to maybe 10 comfortably. 6. Oh, God. This is so sketchy. 7. It's the sketchiest shit. What I wouldn't give for the bloody... You know in Minecraft you can hold shift and like really teeter on the edge and not fall to your death? I would give my left nut for that right about now. But I think this should be far enough, shouldn't it? I think. I mean, it's still pretty dicey, but it should be enough to land the gyro on and then roll in. I'm not really trying to hit it like I'm playing Kaplunk. That should be enough, I think. Nah, I'm getting greedy. I'm getting greedy with it because of course I bloody am... That's, how far is this now? How far is it? From the edge, I'm going to count from this one just to factor of safety and make sure I don't really get right to the edge and have a collapse. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to ten. That's as far as I'm going. That will be fine. Apparently, counting is an issue for me, so I shouldn't be trusting myself with any sort of digits. Upgrade all of you, all to concrete, all the way along. And then I think we're good. I mean, I've got the door working, I've got the elevator working. It's just after midnight, but I think that's about as successful as it's going to get. I could do with maybe some extra lighting out here. I do have the industrial lights. I could probably, like, pop up onto something, but that looks fine to me. I've only got 14. I've only got 14 uh, rebar frames left over. I'm really working with some narrow margins here. In fact, on that note, I'm gonna quickly run in here, select a floor, floor two, please. Up we go. It's a little bit janky, but we're going up. Up to there. I would like to make myself, please. I need rebar frames. I don't have much iron on me at the moment, but I should have some, I should even have some up in the, did I put batteries in you? I didn't even put batteries in you. That's real bloody silly. Turn you on. There's a zombie around here somewhere who's kind of upset with me. I'll go and deal with him. But if I want myself some more rebar frames, I can finish. <gasps> you absolute cock smoker. You broke me goddamn window. I can't even be safe from you and your shenanigans on top of the goddamn world. If I stand in the right spot, at least the, uh, the elevator stops flicking in and out of the world. So we're good. Down we go to here. Oh, I really like this. I really like how this has turned out. Got myself some more rebar frames though, because what I want to do, in fact, let's go a little bit cheeky. Go like that, split you, and turn you into uh, that one, please. Some ramp blocks, and spin you around, baby, right around to, yeah, that one there. Continue out like that, so you all look nice and easy. Now, I think I've got 10, 
So the 10, 20, 30, 40. I think I have exactly the right amount of rebar. I've got more crafting upstairs if I come up a little bit shy. Out soon. Oh, yeah, I wasn't even close. I was much further out than I thought I was. All right, never mind then. Yeah, just go like... Oh, that's the wrong thing. And go like this. Copy shape, copy rotation. So that I have an extra little bit of landing area. It's expanding the landing pad by what? Like only two blocks, but it should hopefully help me. And also help me if I do land in here. Got some walls to keep me in place. So now I can upgrade all of you guys. And I think just for lighting out here... I might just chuck a couple of globes up in the corners up there so I can see a little better. Um, but I think that's all that's really going to be necessary for it. Go like you. Upgrade you guys too. And with that done... Oh, actually, I'll put some lights on the front out here too, couldn't I? That might be a pretty good idea so I can see it in the night time. Go like that all the way along. But I think with that... Like, the main construction part of this is done. It's got all the lighting. I like the look of the stone tunnel. That's actually bloody sick. That's come up so well. In fact, even better, I've got these spotlights that I wasn't really doing anything with. So I'll actually just stick you there and stick you there while you're up from that one into you and from that one into you. I know it's using the actual wires, but it's okay. It's mostly hidden by the wall. And then you, can I like aim you down at the platform? Aim for the mouth over there and the same on this side. And that should give me most of the lighting that I need. I will also try and put some landing lights on the end of the runway over here, but... Oh, look, the spotlights just don't do enough. They don't do it. They should be flinging out lumens like there's nobody tomorrow. But they're about as dull as... Well... <laughs> I was going to insult Arlene there for a second, but I feel like she's been through enough. So if I put a light there and put a light there, that'll do nicely. I do... I could, I suppose, run the wiring just straight from you all the way out to the light out here that I'm going to reach. Not quite, because, well, there are limits to physics, apparently. Can I, like, go like that? Oh, oh, maybe. Oh, right on the, right on the bee stick. There you go. I mean, that's not particularly great, although, you know what? I don't hate it, because... It looks like a suspension wire. It looks like a wire that's actually like under uh, under tension holding up this landing pad out here. So I actually don't hate it. That fits in with the aesthetic that I'm kind of going for. Let's go all the way to the brink of the red. Right about there. There we go. And to you. Perfect. Bloody perfect. Got lights on the front. The landing pad's getting all sorted out. Fuck yes. All right. Well, the sun is about to rise. What better time to give it the reddest and hottest of cracks than right bloody now? Let's put you in. Let's go. Oh, please, please tell me you fit. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, yep, in like that. We'll go here. Gyro boy. Fuel you up. <laughs> oh, please bloody work. Please bloody work. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're taking off into the night sky. Open sesame. Out we go. Out we go. And away we go. Oh, it's fantastic. That has come up an absolute treat. That's amazing. How far away can I go before it disappears? So about here. So I need to pay attention to where I need to be aiming for when I come back. Between those two, like, silver nodules there... It's not a great area to be aiming for, but I'll try anyway. So we can take off, and then we can come back again. That's so good. That's actually worked out so bloody well. It's far better than I thought it would. Barely even skipped a beat coming out of that gaping mouth. Let me come back in this way. Come on, come back into view. Come back into view for me. Where are you? There you are. So it loads in a fair way away, which is good for me. Just need to put my nose gear down on the runway. Oh, flying this thing is an absolute pain in the dick. Oh, but I have nailed that. I have absolutely fucking nailed that. That is about the best piloting I've ever done in my fucking life. The, oh, that worked so well. What? Who the fuck am I? Someone hand me a mirror. Because I'm pretty sure I am not who I said I'd be. What the fuck was that? I, I'm, never, I'm never doing that again. I'm never taking it to the skies ever again. Because I'll never do it as well as I just fucking did. That's going to do me, I think. I think that's going to do me. It's half past three in the morning, but we've achieved our goal of making the gyro entry. And it is an absolute peach of a build as well. 
I'm stoked. I'm stoked with that. That's gone so much better than I thought it would. I might even... I, the only kind of thing that's missing is potentially some sheets. I don't have enough wood to do it right now. But some sheets along here. Just to... Uh, if I can make any sort of sheets. Sheets. I can make two of those yeah just a couple of sheets along like the front here just so there's no chance of like your front wheel kind of like bogging in and skipping over the top that was silly i completely whiffed that but that's the only kind of like extra kind of update i think i would do so for the most part that's the wrong thing for the most part i think that's about as perfect as i could possibly ask for it that's so good i'm so stoked with that so so bloody stoked us so i'm gonna head out stand out here and admire my brilliance as the sun shines a new beam of light onto an actual really good build i'm really happy that's so bloody good but i'm gonna have to leave this episode here i think i think i'm done with this house i think all the things i wanted to build in this place is now done sure there's a couple of like aesthetic things here and there like painting things or whatever that i probably could do but rather than just dedicate a whole episode to that what i'm gonna do i think day 82 i think i'm gonna turn blood moon hordes back on and just see what happens I don't think it's going to go well. I think they're going to tunnel through or spawn down the bottom and do all sorts of damage elsewhere rather than like come through the base how I want them to. But I want to give it a crack. I want to throw a horde at this base and see what happens as like a, a finale to the volcano base build. Because I think it's done. I can't think of anything else that's really begging for it. I think we've done a pretty fucking spiffing job of this whole thing. I'm stoked with that. You're flying with the gyrocopter. You jump on your elevator to head up to your base. What more could you bloody ask for? Seriously, what more could you ask for than all the things that have happened in here? So good. So good, dude. I'm stoked. I'm absolutely stoked. And not just because I threaded the needle perfectly. Gyros are hard to fly as it is. But I flew that like a fucking legend so i'm gonna have to come back and face a blood moon horde at the volcano base in the next episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patreon patreon who made this episode possible if you like make sure to like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one